share the screen and dive right in. All right, so um, thank you so much for coming tonight. It's a Wednesday night, it's a busy week, and um, all of us are busy. So you took some of your time and I appreciate that. So we're gonna go through this. And the idea tonight is just, I have a dream and a vision that I love to share with everybody. And I just like to uh, give everybody the introduction of what it is to use doTERRA to um, its maximum potential. And for that, it is different for everyone. And it's this will help guide you in answering your questions and helping you figure that out. So we're going to talk about um, mostly seeing if doTERRA is as good of a fit for you as you are for doTERRA. And when I first started with this, I never in my wildest dreams thought that I would be selling essential oils. But um, it was more about health. I just was a mom who wanted to uh, get one of my kids off of prescription medications, and I felt really terrible, and I wanted to feel better. And so I looked into doTERRA and found great results, and we found health in our family. We found healing in our home, and it just blossomed from that because I saw the potential for helping so many people. And then I started hearing people talking about a pipeline and building residual income. And at the time, my husband's military, or he was former military, I was a dental hygienist, and we were working our bums off. We started having kids, and we I stopped working, but we barely saw Neil, and he would go to work early, come home late. We did not have to be able to take on um, like vacations very often. Um, we had to schedule them out. Sometimes they would be canceled because of his job. Um, we weren't always able to make it to sport events with our other children. And so that was important to us. Those were things that we saw that we didn't want to have. And so we were trying to find another way to work out our life so that we could take advantage of our health early so that we weren't just hoping for health later when we wanted to do the things like travel. And stuff like that. So I'm going to tell you what a pipeline is, and maybe this will explain it a little bit better. And instead of instead of chopping it up, I'm just going to read it straight from here. Um, it's actually adapted from Robert Kiyosaki, and if you don't know who that is, he's a really brilliant mind. And so we'll talk about this a second afterwards. But it's just imagine that there is a village far away from any water source, and naturally it was someone's job to walk to that nearest well and haul buckets of water daily. There was no better job security in the whole village. Everyone needed water and they were willing to pay for it, so the demand was high. The man hauling the buckets of water seemed to have the perfect job, or did he? If he needed to make more money, he needed to work more hours. If he or a family member got sick, he could not take the time off that he needed. If he didn't work, he didn't get paid. He had job security, sure, but he did not have financial or time freedom. Sometimes, the best solution comes from the hardest problems. So the man got creative. He decided to change his fate. He hauled buckets daily to pay his bills and provide for the village. And in the evenings, he made sacrifices. He began to dig a pipeline. And then this process took a few years. And what he did was um, he was able to turn on that spigot and sell buckets of water to everyone right there in the village. So they now had colder, fresher, faster and cheaper water and that man created a constant cash flow that he would even be able to use to pay himself on holidays and sick days and he created financial freedom and time freedom so that he was able to pursue his dreams and so the idea for me is uh, in America we're taught to work and go to school for a long time work really hard uh, go get a job for like, you know, 40 years or whatever. And then hopefully at the end of that, have our health and be able to uh, enjoy it afterwards with a little bit of our income, a percentage of that. So in turn, we're just trading our hours for dollars. And so a pipeline is residual income. Residual income is when we are actually working really hard because it is hard work, but we're working hard for a short amount of time. And then sometimes we have to work double time because we have two jobs, but we work that for a short amount of time and then we won't have to do that forever and we'll have residual income flowing in even when we don't show up. So let's talk about the opportunity. This is where I'm going to ask you guys questions and this is where I want to want you guys to answer because this 
will show me where you're at. It'll help me understand um, what you want from this and it'll help me help you. So the first question is, what would be the best part of running your own business? Maybe some of you have experience with this and I definitely want you to shout out some answers here. I'm gonna unmute you guys. Create your own schedule. Absolutely, creating your own schedule. So time, right? Staying home with kids. Yeah, staying home with kids, that's a great one. Somebody messaged, let's look. Being your own boss, absolutely. I like that one. I like that one too, I don't like to be told what to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, anything else? So best part of running your own business. Yep, setting your own hours. That's right, being in control of your calendar. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. We'll keep um, answering these questions, but I want you guys, if you're taking notes, jot down because and making your hours because everyone wants more time and it's the one commodity that no one can get more of. Oh yeah. How about, um, how do you feel about network marketing? And I just want to preface, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I've heard it all. Abra, I have you muted. You're cooking again. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> all right. So um, how do you feel about network marketing? I Good. never had an opinion on it, honestly. I already do it with my other job. Is that you, Terry? Courtney. Courtney? Oh, you do it with the other job. Okay. Awesome. I didn't see you. Okay. Um, good. So but what? how do you feel about the potential? Or is it scary? Does it feel uh, stable? How do you just feel about it? I think it's intimidating a little bit um, to go from just someone like I'm on social media, I'm very just relaxed. I'll post kind of things about my kid or whatever, but to like be intentional with it is a lot harder, I think. And the recording from the last meeting we had was really great and really convicting actually, but it's hard. It's very unnatural for me. So it's kind of hard to like, when you see something on someone that posts like, Oh, I'm having migraines or I'm having stomach pains. Like what, does everyone take or what can I do with CBD oil? And it was like, Oh, I like, I have a good answer for that. And it's just like, I don't know. It's kind of scary to just post on someone's stuff that you don't really know that well. And I don't know, probably that fear of rejection or like total humiliation. <laughs> um, that those are great answers. That's awesome. Thank you for opening up about that. Um, and Terry said it's scary, but it has great potential. Thank you. All right, awesome. So what, what intrigues you about doTERRA, the opportunity with doTERRA? Do you feel like it's different? What do you feel like intrigues you? Definitely the product works and like it's definitely something you can believe in and unlike a lot of other companies where it's like, you're just kind of trying to share something and even when the person doesn't believe in their own company, Absolutely. Uh, Terry said, I love the product and it's something I can relate to. Awesome. I feel like people are trusting prescriptive medication less and less because of all of the side effects and downfalls that they're seeing of it. And I feel like uh, every year people are, more people are turning to natural forms of medicine. Perfect. Mm. I like that it's like a full circle. Like it treats your whole body. It's a very preventative care. And then it also like the aspects of like the healing hands and the sustainable income from like the farmers. Like that's one of the things I feel like people love. Like 
almost like a cause that you see a company doing something and that kind of tugs at your heart a little bit that your purchases and your support is literally helping people like eat in other countries. I think that's really awesome. That's great. Uh, Roxanne said the products help people without the side effects of medicines. Oh yeah. I think one of the other things about that I like about doTERRA is, um, I mean, it definitely helps to live doTERRA, but you don't have to have all the products to get started. You can have a relatively small inventory um, to, to really get started with it. Great point. Okay. Um, that's perfect. We'll, we'll move on. Thank you so much. Those are really good answers. So what about um, residual income? What would that mean to your family? And what I mean is like, what would an extra thousand dollars a month mean to your family if you didn't have to show up to work? Well, for me, it's huge because I'm like a uh, freelance with like piano technology, piano tuning and um, violin. So, but if you get sick at one time and you have all these appointments and you miss them, you can't, you don't get just days off of work like a normal job. Whereas with doTERRA, it's like, it's got that, that residual income. It's very encouraging. It is very encouraging. Uh, Terry said, this will be huge. That would be huge. I could relax and not be stressed. My husband wouldn't be stressed. I don't stress so much <laughs> about money, but he does. So... <laughs> And the fact that we just bought and remodeled our first home, he's like stressed to the max. So a great residual income would be great for me. I think it would allow us to do um, things that we like to do to volunteer more and to help other people out and not feel um, like constraints about it. Absolutely. It's a great way to look at it. I was yeah. thinking like if you could dream of anything, like if there's something that you've always dreamed about doing um, and you have residual income to help you do it, what would that be? Does anyone want to share that type of dream? Ours is a beach house and no more student loans. Yes. So, <laughs> student loans first and then the beach house. <laughs> that's, that's great. Uh, someone said they'd be traveling. Here, here. Mm -hmm. I, I would pull a crystal and travel in an RV for a year <laughs> at minimum. Literally, that is what we want to do is to travel. I love that. Awesome. Um, I had someone tell me they wanted to build an orphanage. I think that oh, guys are the That's one. cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. We're going to move on just for the sake of time. Thank you for your answers. And we're going to talk a little bit about the company. Uh, the product and the opportunity. The company, I feel like it's really important to understand the company if you are potentially going to be partnering with them. And so with Tara, they've been around 11 years. I'm going to mute you guys, okay? Um, they've been around 11 years. This is their 11th anniversary this year. And they are um, a powerhouse in the network marketing world, the number one essential oil company in the world, and the, um, one of the top network marketing companies in the entire world. So they are making a global impact, and they do something much different than um, any other company with co-impact sourcing. And that just means that the way that they source is very ethical and very sustainable. They actually have a 96 percent actually it was a year ago that they had a 96 percent exclusivity um, in the market and that means that those farms that we work hand in hand with no brokers are involved and they will first sell to us before they will ever sell to anyone else and then what we don't want is what other people are allowed to buy uh, and then on top of that we do source in 50 percent of the countries are third world countries. And that means there's a huge need. So we could go in and just rape the land, take from the land, but that is not what doTERRA's culture is. doTERRA wants to go in and make an impact around the world. So just like I think it was Emily said, every single bottle that I buy, I know is making an impact for someone else. And so in Nepal or in Haiti or in um, the recent one that I heard about was in um, Kenya, those women and their children are allowed to eat. They're able to eat just because we choose to buy from doTERRA. And that was huge for us. 
And we actually have advocates like myself who just volunteer and go to those different places and are able to work in those communities, no matter what they need. It might be schools, education, maybe uh, really deep into sex trafficking. And so doTERRA goes in and provides a way for those people to be rescued. It is just a very powerful way to give back. And that is their mission. And on our own soil as well, we have those efforts and particularly with having clinics throughout the U.S. where they have no insurance. And so there's 30 plans, six already up and running, where they have melded and married modern medicine and holistic essential oil lifestyle. And then they just uh, work in that hand in hand. And so um, you'll see that popping up more and more. It's called Prime Meridian. And that's the vision of the country, the company. All right, the um, they are debt free. I wanted to say that, and they grew faster than Apple and uh, Amazon when they first started. So it's pretty incredible, and they still continue to have steady growth. Now the product, this is um, my favorite part, because with um, an opportunity like this, people usually fail for three reasons. And number one is because they don't have a product people want to come back to. So we'll go over that in a second. But it is a product that is top of the line not just essential oils, it's personal wellness, it's skincare, it's supplements, it's extremely clean and good products that we can be proud of and we should be proud of it because if we're sharing it, we should love it and we should be very, very happy to put it on our family. Um, doTERRA does do extensive third-party testing. I love this part because they are the only transparent company. They provide that extensive third-party testing and they allow the company that does the testing to show those results publicly. For me and my family, that was huge. How about the opportunity? Um, Kelly mentioned this, the opportunity, there's minimal startup costs with doTERRA. Most companies, if you're gonna start a business at all, I wanna say that for me, the, the thing that I, I am um, that is hard for me to do is that I have to be stuck at that business. So if you have a hair salon, if you're starting a business and you have a lot of product, you have to be stable in this type of company or in actually, let's just say in other business um, entrepreneurships or opportunities, you're going to have to have a large startup you're going to usually get some type of loan or investment into product. Sometimes people will have to refinance mortgages. They're really putting a lot of money and effort into that business. And with doTERRA, it's so minimal. The average is $275, $275 because someone bought their home essentials kit that they were going to help their family with. That was their startup kit. That was their startup cost. That was uh, very minimal and very effective. And no inventory. So someone mentioned I did live in an RV. There would not have, it would not have been possible when I first started with doTERRA to have inventory. So just imagine bringing in the boxes of all this inventory, storing it, stacking it, organizing it, getting it ready, and then having to be the one that turns around and sells it. So you buy it at wholesale, you sell it at retail, you bring in about 25%. That is a lot of effort. And so there's with doTERRA, no, no storing, no inventory, no shipping. And actually our job is just to educate about the essential oils. And then the people go directly to the website in order. So we don't even have to deal with shipping. Um, it's perfect. And I love with doTERRA that they kind of take that away too. They give the shipping back to the customer, which I find many people love. Okay. So we, that, not having to have the inventory and the taking the time to do that stuff has provided me a lot of time to to grow to gold very quickly and with a very little sales experience actually i didn't have any sales experience or like recruiting experience at all and this company allowed for me to do that just because of how easy it is to work with the compensation plan is very generous i'm going to talk about that in a minute and Mentioning the product and how people do want to come back. It is a product that the average retention rate with doTERRA is 65% company-wide. That is, in a, in a really good network marketing company, the average is 8 to 10% that people will come back. So to either buy a pair of leggings or another bag or some makeup, about 8 to 10% of the time they'll come back to that same person. With doTERRA, th every single three months, the 65% of the company will come back. The customers will come back and buy more. That is unheard of. And it's just rising. So um, one of my husband's favorite things is that um, when we were answering those questions, he would have said, 
he loves doTERRA because of the potential to earn income. And so to reach a rank or reach the earning potential faster than anywhere else. And so because he has control of his time and his effort. So if we think about a job, I actually was thinking about this earlier. My kids are in school and I feel like this correlated very well. They're in school. They have to go along with the classes and in those classes, kids get in trouble and then they get in trouble and then they're not able to work harder because they have to be held back because of these other kids in the class and what they are finding. And I'm trying to discuss with them is they have to like kind of pay their dues. But when they get out, if they jump into a business opportunity like this, they have, they can bypass that when somebody else is holding them back, they can step above them and keep pushing and do it because if they're willing to do the work, they are going to succeed. So I love that about doTERRA. So let's talk about what it means to earn. Uh, an LRP of 100 PV a month is required to earn with doTERRA. Um, that is actually very, very little, especially when you take into account that's your shampoo and your hand washing soap and your um, cleaner. And so everything you're doing to replace your home covers that. And so it's very little to get started. And the first way to get paid with doTERRA is called Fast Start. This one was fun because I got my first check by surprise. It was a little purple check that came in the mail and I had just shared with a friend. And so just imagine this, you enrolled Amy and Amy, you got 20% of Amy's order the next week. So it's paid out weekly. And then Amy had a friend, Joe, and she enrolled Joe. So actually Amy will earn the 20% of Joe's order and then you will earn 10% of Joe's order. So it's going to keep going down and this lasts for 60 days after they enroll. And then Joe, he has a friend named Sue and he enrolls her. Joe earns 20% of Sue's order. Amy earns 10% of Sue's order. And then you will earn still 5% of Sue's order. And the best part I feel like about Fast Start is that it never goes away. So as long as you're sharing with doTERRA, it doesn't matter if you're just starting out it's your first year or you've been with the company 11 years, you still have that potential to get a lot of a fast start. Now there are bonuses and I want to be very clear. You do not have to memorize this part. I'm going through it very fast, but when you come to me and say, yeah, this is something I want to try. We'll actually sit down one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to dive into it and you will understand it perfectly because I know it very well. Uh, the power of three is paid monthly. Uh, they paid out on the middle of the month. And as you're doing your hundred LRP, you share with three friends, you're going to get a $50 bonus. That $50 bonus will be paid out monthly when they order. And then when they share with three friends, you get $250 bonus. And when they share with three friends, you get a $1,500 bonus. That is a significant increase in income for anyone. So I always like to point that out. There is uni level um, and then leadership bonuses and retail. I'm going to touch on uni level for very quickly because you're going to notice something here. And I think this is important. Doterra is a debt-free company and they had a vision and they know what network marketing potential is. So they chose it. Um, they chose this model because they could have went directly to the stores, but they chose it because it's not an intuitive product. It really does take that hand-to-hand -hand contact. And the beauty of it is the network marketing model is critical for doTERRA. If we didn't have that hand-to-hand -hand contact, people wouldn't continue to use the product and understand it. And so we are actually helping and having a great service. So it does take us to do that. But with the uni level, it is designed for the people who are in it for the long haul. And they know that when people find doTERRA, they're in it for life. Because when you start using the products and start having a healthier life, you just feel better all around and you can't help but share it. You can't help but, but glow, honestly. So in the very beginning, you earn 2% at the top and that is where the least amount of people will be in your legs in your tree so just think of it a little tree and then as you grow deeper you're earning more and more and you can see at the very bottom of that that it is over doubled what an, an average or a typical uni level plan is it is more than doubled it's almost tripled than what you would get paid in the long run so that's huge um, they actually came out with a report this month that said um, the presidential and blue diamonds increased 23 percent last year and usually what would happen is the income levels for each level would kind of even out or decrease a little but they actually went every single level went up so everybody's income went up even though there was a huge increase in leadership 
So I thought that was pretty powerful. You can get paid retail, but um, not many people buy retail. All right, so the best way to predict the future is to create it. This is one of Neil's favorite quotes because it means that you have control. So we're gonna dive into the ranks very quickly because what happens is you might be wondering, how does this fit in your life? If someone comes to me and says, I wanna earn my oils for free, then I'm gonna tell them to focus on executive and elite ranks and maybe into the premiere a little bit and about three to five hours a week will help you get your oils for free. And over just in a little bit of time, you'll be getting your oils for free. If someone wants to just start supplementing their income, they would focus on premier, silver, and maybe gold. And focus about maybe 10 to 15 hours a week and then just some focused time and they would start earning some supplemental income. Someone who comes to me and says, I wanna replace your income like you, Crystal, then you would focus on gold and above. Any of those ranks will help you do that and about 15 to 30 hours a week. And I wanna be specific, when I say 15 to 30 hours a week, if you are really focusing and scheduling your time and using your time wisely, the time is not what matters, it's the effort. So if you're doing money-making activities, which my job is to show you what that is, then you will get there really, fairly quickly. All right, uh, I love this quote too. Entrepreneurship is living a few years of your life, life like most people won't sacrifice so that you can spend the rest of your life like most people can't. All right, so I have a tiny bit of a challenge for you. Um, and right down here is a list. The idea is the average person will come to me after a class like this and they'll say, you know what, I want to do this as a business. But I know that that means something different for every person. So in order for me to help you the most is the average person will get a list to me of about 100 people. They just start jotting down people that they want to help and they'll star next to it the people who they think would be really good at this and then we'll go over that list and within 48 hours is the average time they'll get it to me and so if this is something that you thought wow I totally want to try this then that will be what you would want to do so I really just want to thank you for coming um, doTERRA is all about hope and healing hearts and guiding people and really helping them grow to their maximum potential so I want to challenge you to go out and grow that pipeline and build your dreams and reach those things that you really want and stop trading your dollars for hours, your hours for dollars backwards. So 